Welcome to CBS This Morning, and welcome to both of you. Thank Gail you. Tony taking a Friday off. Good so to be here. Are in. Nice to see you. All right, so it's been an incredibly emotional week, as we all know, but we wanted to start this morning with something really, really cool. As Anthony mentioned, history was made a short time ago at Kennedy Space Center. Three, two, one, zero. Mission. And liftoff. Got to see it's ever inclusive. Four astronauts are now on their way to the International Space Station with help from a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It has never been done this way before. Mark Strassman witnessed the launch and he joins us now. Mark, we were all here in the studio watching it as it happened. It's quite a day. Yeah, good morning. A spectacular pre-dawn liftoff and light show and a major milestone for SpaceX. The company reused both the first stage booster and the space capsule that flew on earlier missions. It's done that before with cargo, but never people until today. Yay! The astronauts were met with cheers on their way to the launch pad this morning. They even got a send off from SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. We can see the astronauts inside the crew access arm. Inclement weather postponed the launch yesterday. But this morning, Endeavor launches once again. The international crew, which includes two Americans, launched on a mission that's the first of its kind. We have just passed through Max Q. Around two and a half minutes after liftoff, already traveling more than 4,000 miles per hour, the reused first stage booster separated. Roughly seven minutes after that, the crew entered orbit more than 125 miles above Earth, where not long ago, they had this to say. We're uh, a couple hours into the flight, making our second lap around the Earth. Musk said it's the dawn of a new era in space exploration. We don't want to be one of those single planet species. We want to be a multi-planet species. As for this mission, NASA astronaut Bob Behnken can vouch for the recycled hardware. He flew in the same capsule to the space station last year. This time, it's his wife, crew member Megan MacArthur. They have a seven-year-old son, Theo. What does your son think about all the unusual travel both his parents do for work? He has had, of course, a long duration exposure to all of this. Of course, he recently saw his father launch and then stay on the International Space Station for two months. Now, you know, it's mom's turn and I'm gonna be gone for six months. And when he talks about it, he talks about, well, he's gonna go next. But first, little Theo and his father will get up early tomorrow morning to watch another magical moment. MacArthur and her crew will dock to the International Space Station right after 5 a.m. Anthony? Mark, <laughs> you know, my parents traveled a lot, but not like that. <laughs> that's, like, that's really something. Mark, thank you so much. And what an, I just, I'm thrilled by this, I have to say. I love that a mom is going into space and she's, yep. she left son at home with dad. Yeah. I, I just love that's, the yeah, idea exactly. of that and, in and this that day and age. And kids are back. I mean, when I was a kid, Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were like heroes of mine. And yeah. it's great to see children really into it now. Yeah, sure is. And I hope he gets to I hope their son gets to go to space. That would be really neat. All right.